I'd like Stu to come back in to see us. And uh, Stu, you've got the night sight spotter there. It's a great bit of kit, and I know you've used this quite a lot, haven't you? Uh, yes, uh, the last couple of weeks I've been using it a lot um, for looking at the badgers and the foxes, and it's brilliant. Yeah, I've, I've actually been out with Wildlife Stu, and we've, we've, we've had some good fun with this. It, it looks it looks bulky, doesn't it? But it's deceiving. It's uh, not. It's it's just it's it's not what it seems. It's just an ideal kind of size, really. How, how, how did you how did you find getting on with it, scanning it across the field? You know, uh, brilliant. You... Like you can hold it steady, and it's just brilliant. Yeah, it's got a pretty good beam as well, hasn't uh, it? And and um, the night sight spot, folks, is that there isn't really anything on the market at the moment that that can beat the distance and that. I mean, we, we, we both went out and we were watching badgers and um, we watched a road deer mm. over 500 metres away. Um, what, what do you think about the use of the LCD screen? Did you find that was quite useful just to see? Yes, I... Yeah. Uh, um, what, what about the... Um, obviously, it's got, it's got the focus, the close focus. It's 20 times optical zoom as well. What, what do you think about the levers here? Do you, do you think that's a good thing to have on the, the night vision where you can finally adjust it? Yes, I, especially where they are because your hand's there to steady it anyway, so yeah, it's yeah. ideal, it's brilliant. You've got some wires uh, sticking out of your coat there, what's that for? Yeah, it's for recording, so if I ah, right. see a badger I can zoom in on that and then just press record. And, and then I suppose you just take the SD card out again and put that in your computer yes, and stuff. Yes, I mm. so that's, it's, a, it's a phenomenal bit of kit. Um, can you you can use it in the daytime, right? Low level. Yes. Yeah, use yeah. it in the day. So, yes, it may look like a speed gun that you might see a policeman handling, but it's got some very very advanced high-powered infrared tech inside that. And um, like I say, we've we've both been out um, in all weathers as well, haven't we? You know, it doesn't matter whether it's rain or shine. Yeah. I mean, we've we've been across some muddy fields. There's been moisture in the air, but this is this is just been outstanding, uh, to be perfectly honest. It, a, it looks like a warm jacket that and this is something we're going to cover in future shows is yes we're, we, we're covering the night vision the te technology side of it if you like but when we go out and stand in the field it gets pretty cold and Stu's got the uh, the storm is it the ridgeline storm ridge jacket storm, yeah how do you get on with that brilliant yeah. it's warm and you can it's all weather brilliant. good tip for people watching this on going out with night vision kit Wrap up warm, yeah? Uh, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> um, there's nothing worse, folks, than getting getting yourself colder in, in the field. But the spotter works well with the Yukon NPR. It records, and um, obviously we're going to see a lot more from the night sight spotter.